What's up, good people? Another day, another movie. I'm on my way to see Godzilla 1. Of course! I am looking forward to it. All right, I just made it to the theater. Got my popcorn. Let's do this. Many hours later. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Trey DeBrew Daniels. Happy Monday to you all. Hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Because I know I did. Because I spent my weekend checking out... Oh, boy, that sound never gets old. Yes, I checked out Godzilla Minus One. The Japanese-produced old-school Toho Godzilla film. And it was tremendous i thoroughly enjoyed it i'm gonna get into uh, some aspects i've enjoyed now this will be a spoiler free review because i want people to really check this movie out because it's actually a whole mess load of fun now some disclaimers here oh no if you're not into reading subtitles you might have yourself a rough time with this film second disclaimer if you're looking to be in this film and just see a knockout drag out uh kaiju battle fight you might have a rough time with this film but if you're just there to just enjoy some Godzilla action, enjoy some actually decent character work, you're going to have yourself a good time. So let's just jump into this and let's just talk about the man of the hour. Glorious. Godzilla himself in this joint is an absolute public menace to society and I loved every second of it. His design, voice work, voice work, well, you know, sound work, uh, everything about this character just screamed old school tohu got toto toho godzilla i really really enjoyed it i really enjoyed the animation i really enjoyed some of the limited public work that was actually done in this so good on you all for that one but you know what else was tremendous L let me say what else was absolutely tremendous the way the atomic blast charges on godzilla I, you know what I, I don't even care if i get flagged i gotta show it I think I just wet myself. Moving on to the actual human characters. Now, usually in these films, I hate the human characters, especially with American made Godzilla, all those useless characters with Millie Bobby Brown and and and, and, and all, the, all of them, all of them, all of them, Matthew Broderick, all of them. I hate them all. They're all insufferable, nonsensical characters. I was just hoping they either die or just get off the screen so we can get to Godzilla faster. But these characters were actually very compelling. Their stories were, dare I say it, just as interesting as having Godzilla on the screen. <gasps> Your gaffes are warranted, but I am being honest. These characters were captivating. I was really into their story. Um, especially our leads. I was absolutely captivated. And I'm not going to give away the story because I really, really want you to check this thing out. Um, but good grief. Like, I felt emotional connections to these characters. Whatever Japan is doing over there at Toho Studios, they need to bring that over here to the States. Because I was absolutely invested in all the characters and how they were going to overcome the Godzilla problem. This was absolutely tremendous i really enjoyed it but what is a godzilla film without the action sequences when i say that this stuff was some top tier godzilla stuff i mean it the the pacing the like godzilla was legitimately terrifying in this film i got goosebumps every time he was on screen when like i, I wanted to see people survive i was actually invested in these characters and like when oh when the destruction starts happening oh my god my power. oh man I, I i i melted it was it was peak peak godzilla and i was thrilled and it was mwah, chef's kiss do you know what else is mwah, chef's kiss another seamless transition trouble the rhythm with then graphic novel is live on indiegogo as we speak definitely check it out if you want to support my work i would greatly appreciate it. i'll leave a link in the description section below but ultimately what do i think look this was peak godzilla it was peak a whole lot of fun a, a, a lot of great character work and a lot of in-depth 
on uh, Japan and certain d during a certain time period that I really really think you all should check out it's a lot of good stuff going on and whatever Toho is doing with Godzilla they need to teach it to the folks over here in the states this was tremendous I had a great time I could not recommend this movie more it was fantastic yeah that makes sense what do you guys think about Godzilla uh, minus one if you've seen it let me know in the comment section below and now and are you interested in seeing it? I really think a lot of people should see it. I, I mean, I, I, I know people are a little, sometimes are don't want to deal with the subtitles. But I'm telling you, it is absolutely worth it just to get ingrained in the story. I really, really, really enjoyed it, and I could not recommend it more. So, as always, do those great YouTube things. Like, comment, subscribe, and share the video. And, as always, you guys have been awesome, and I'll catch you all next time.